All right, if you guys have ever had trouble making melodies in FL Studio, there's a new update that just came out that literally makes making melodies as easy as like three clicks. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that today and your melody troubles are gonna be gone. And then before we get started, if you guys are new here, go down and hit that subscribe button for me. And if you already know me, well, let me tell you, we got the office set up and videos are about to be coming out a lot more frequently. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram because I've been showing the office around on there, but I'll give you guys a little sneak peek real quick. So when you walk in, we got the electronic drum set, a little keyboard over there, the main part of the setup, the engine, the horse, everything you ever need. This little thing right here, you got me, what's up guys? This little lamp and some albums. But yeah, that's the office for now. Oh yeah, and then we also got this little, uh, this little couch. And shout out Brian for that shake sauce rug. But let's actually jump into FL Studio and get started. All right, so I just opened up FL Studio and the first thing I'm gonna do is just show you guys what the update is. That makes this a lot easier. So I'm just gonna go into the piano roll. We don't even have anything pulled up yet, but uh, we're just gonna run in the piano roll. If you click this button up here that says snap to scale, if you right click it, you could select whatever scale you want. So we'll just do A minor for right now. Where is it? Right there. And then we're gonna click this snap to scale button. And then the trick I wanna show you guys is basically, here, let me grab a random piano. All right, so I'm gonna just grab this Keyscape Grand Piano. And basically what I'm trying to show you guys is, so we go into the piano roll. Basically, if you go to make a normal chord, if you were to try and put a note that's not in the scale, for example, if we try to do this A sharp, it just won't let me put it there. So that right off the bat is definitely helpful if you have no knowledge in music theory. But if you were to make an actual simple triad right here, all you would do is skip one note in the scale. So that'd be this B and you go to this C. And then to make the actual triad, you got to do one more note. So we'll skip D and go to E. And now you have a triad, which sounds like a very basic minor triad. Bring that down an octave. So now it sounds like this. But basically the cool part is if you were to move this around anywhere, it's going to automatically snap these notes into the scale and keep the chord in scale. It might not sound good, but it gives you a much easier option to play with. So say we're just going to go make a super simple chord pattern. We'll just duplicate this over and move it a few times. We'll just move it up here, here right here let's see if this sounds good so yeah as you can see moving this around is just great now and you can just keep moving it It's always gonna stay in scale. So that's another cool thing. If you're bored with one chord progression you made, you could just move it around. It's gonna stay in scale no matter what. So you can really do whatever you want here. I'm just gonna keep it at the original one and we're just gonna adjust this chord progression a bit, make it sound a little cooler and see if we could build off it. All right, so I found this random key in Omnisphere that sounds like this. And now I'm gonna show you guys the second cool part. So if you're lazy and you wanna do a melody really fast, you don't even have to really look. You just do random stuff here. And then just click Control L on your keyboard and chop this last piece off. And now we have a melody that we know is in scale. Let me just adjust this note maybe. And there we go. I mean, it's as fast as that. And if you just hit control A on your keyboard and move this around, it'll stay in scale. But I actually like that a lot. So like I said, the snap to scale just makes it so easy to stay in scale and make sure you don't mess up, especially if you don't have any music theory. It's got, I mean, it's gotta be the easiest way to make melodies. So maybe we'll find one more sound here. I'm just gonna go into my cyber one shot kit and see if I can find something cool. Maybe like some kind of synth. And then we're just gonna adjust the envelope like this and make sure we do cut itself. Then control C on the main melody, control V, Let's see how this sounds. All right, that's about it for the melody. Now let's just add a bass. 
I'm just grabbing this one called Silence from my Cyber One Shot kit. It's always linked down in the description below if you guys are looking for some new sounds. But for the bass here, all we're doing is making the envelope like that and then just following the bass note of the chord progression. All right, now we're just gonna get some drums started. Something super simple here because the main idea of this video was for the melody part, but we can't have a melody without drums, so we're gonna do that. So I'm gonna go to Cyber V2, just grab a clap. And then I'm gonna hop into my full circle drum kit and just a super simple MIDI. All right, I'm just going to arrange this real quick. The beat is extremely basic, but you get the idea of how to make something like this. I mean, I'm definitely going to be using this update on some of my melodies in the future, but what I'm going to do is just arrange this real quick and do a little freestyle because you know we got to end with a freestyle. All right, then I'm going to just load up my Juice World preset because I feel like this will work pretty well on this. I have that link down in the description below too if you guys want to do a little freestyle yourself. I don't see you anymore, no, no. I lost my mama, then I said, oh, oh. If I love All right, that's it for the video. I'm not sure what song I just interpolated right there at the end. That kind of just came out of nowhere. But if you guys know in the comments, let me know. I'm trying. I don't know what that is. I know that melody is from somewhere. But anyways, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button. And make sure you stay tuned for more videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces.